Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to multiply by multiple slash powers of 10 and I'm going to teach you how to do it quickly. So let's look at every single number. So let's look at for example 3 or 4 or 5 or 6. What happens when you multiply it by 10? Okay, when you multiply these numbers by 10, what you get is you basically get the original number and you add another zero after the number. So 3 times 10 is 30, 4 times 10 is 40, 5 times 10 is 50, 6 times 10 is 60 and so on. Now what happens when you multiply a number by 100? So for example 3 times 100. Well 3 times 100 is the same as 100 times 3 which will give you 300. Alright so 4 times 100 is 400 5 times 100 is 500 and so on. So when you multiply a number by a power of 10, a power of 10 just means 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 and so on. Sorry, it's sort of confusing that I've put a comma here. Let me just get rid of that. Okay, so all of these numbers are powers of 10 and um, let's say I want to do seven times a thousand all you have to do is you look at how many zeros there are okay in the number that you're multiplying by so I can see three zeros so all you have to do is write seven thousand just insert that number of zeros so let me give you another example let's say I want to do seventy two times 10,000. So how many zeros are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. Insert that number of zeros after the first number that will be your answer. So it'll be 72 and 4 zeros. Alright, how simple is that? Let's do another one. Uh, 736 times by uh, 100,000. And that'll be how many zeros are there? One, two, three, four, five. So seven, three, six, and five zeros. Okay, now let's change it slightly. So what happens if I have, for example, five times two thousand? All right, then what happens is you pretend the zeros are not there and you just do five times two. So what's, what's the answer? Five times two is ten. Now how many zeros are there in the second number? Three zeros, so you just put the three zeros in. Right, very simple. Uh, now let's do for example 73 times 4,000. 40,000. So you just do 73 times 4 first and you will get 4 times 3 is 12, 4 times 7 is 28, plus 1 is 29. So 292, how many zeros are there? Four zeros, insert your four zeros. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do 250. Uh, actually, let's, let's put uh, some simple numbers first. Let's do 70 times 40. Now what's happening is in both numbers there are um, zeros after the number. So what you're going to do is you're going to pretend the zeros are not there. So 7 times 4 is 28. Then you're going to put in how many zeros there are in each number. So there's two zeros so you put the two zeros in. Let's try another one. Let's try uh, let's try 50 times 30. Okay so you're going to go 5 times 3 write the answer down. How many zeros are there? Put that number of zeros in. So 1500. Okay, I don't want to do too much in one video, so uh, I'm just going to do another quick example. Let's do 600 times, uh, let's do 4000 and let's, just, let's do 42,000. Okay, so you're going to pretend the zeros are not there. You're just going to do 6 times 42. You're just going to do 6 times 42. So what's the answer? You're going to do 2 times 6 is 12. 
4 times 6 is 24, plus 1 is 25. Then you're going to do um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 zeros. Okay, there is your answer. I hope you guys understand now the shortcut method. So I want you guys to now have a go at these questions and once you have done them, come back to see the answer. Okay, so 6 times 100 is 600. 72 times 1000 is 72,000. Right? Because it's 72 times 1, you write 72. And how many zeros are there? Three zeros. 4 times 6 is 24. 1, 2, 3. Three zeros. 5 times... Uh, Oh, let's do 1 times 5 is 5, 7 times 5 is 35, 4 zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright, um, 8 times 2 is 16, 8 times 3 is 24, plus 1 is 25, uh, 6 zeros. Okay, I hope that helps you guys, thanks for watching, see you next time.